Hello, beautiful soul. I'm Vicki Howie of ChakraBoosters.com, the creator of Chakra Boosters Healing Tattoos. And now in 2021, I'm also the creator of CirclingSpace.com, an online place where we gather together to experience more authentic communication and connection. So I've got some gifts for you for that. So check out some gifts regarding circlingspace.com and also look at that area below for some links to other videos that relate to this video. Now, what is this video? Well, I'm wearing blue, so you probably know it's throat chakra oriented. It is the fifth video in our series on the number one myth that blocks each chakra. So what do you think is the number one myth that blocks the throat chakra? This one was easy to decide. It was an overwhelming one <laughs> because I've heard it so much from my clients and from others in my life. And it is this. If I speak my truth, I will hurt others. Hmm. You can imagine how that one blocks our throat because our hearts are loving. We don't want to hurt others, right? If I speak my truth, I'll hurt others. So this particular myth requires some dissection before we go right at it. In fact, most of what I want to say to you about it is dissecting it. <laughs> and that is first we need to dissect what is truth. And then we need to dissect or look at what does it mean to hurt others? feels very important that I make a distinction about my world, which would be your world, right? My world, the, the world of the my, of the me and the I. The I, me, my. <laughs> Let's call it the I, me, my world. The I, me, my world and the you, yours, they, them, even the we, really. Um, but the I, me, my world is the kind of truth we're talking about here for the throat chakra. It's personal truth. It's the truth that what I really love, what my passions are, what I want to do, what I think, what I believe in. Can you feel that? And it's passionate because it's an upper chakra, but it's still personal. It's not the large T truth of something like we are all one, right? The, the, the crown chakra truth of we're all one, but even we're all one in the personal throat chakra world, the physical world, people will say, no, we're not all one. Yes, we are all one. No, we're not. Yes, we are. No, we're not. So you can feel that. So absolutely anything in this relative world, we can argue about. And the throat chakra is about owning those things. It's about owning the things that are personal. But when we hear truth, we often think about my personal truth about you. Now that's a personal truth, but that's another type of truth. So let's talk about the first degree truths. The I, me, my truth about I, me, my. <laughs> then there's the I, me, my truth about you. You, them, those. You got that? It's like, this is my truth, but it's about that. And let's just do you. That's enough for this video. So the I, me, my truth about I, me, my. That's mine. And I really want to make that clear. That's the first degree personal truth. And that is yours. Yours to own. Yours to express. Yours to set boundaries around. That is yours. There's a little bit of difference when you get into the I, me, my about you, right? You and yours. Because you and yours isn't really my business. So the you and yours doesn't need the I, me, my truth unless it's invited. I want to make that very, very clear. So the I, me, my truth always speaks for self when it feels it needs to in order to have a boundary or to be understood. It's a protection and honoring and expressing of authentic self. When it comes to others, it is only expressed when invited 
when invited. And you might even ask if you do have one that comes through you, if it, if the person wants you to share it, that would be you offering to see if it is invited, if it's, if it's wanted, right? So that's, you could ask if it's wanted, but, but it's not about just throwing it out. Just I think this, you should do that, that those are opinions and those are about the other. And that's not personal truth. <laughs> personal truth can exist about the other, but then we're getting into the realm about opinion and that because we don't really live in the life of that other. So we are a secondary source. <laughs> think about it. We are a secondary source with other people, a secondary source. If you're empathic and you feel as much as I do, it starts to get a little muddier in that arena, but that's why I have to be even more aware of the boundaries and I work on it because I was born in a family without boundaries. Um, and it's probably why I also am an empath, right? While I have so much empathic qualities. So as an empath, you can feel people so much that you begin to think almost like the other isn't I, me, my, but still we are individuals and we deserve respect. So first degree truth is the I, me, my, anything about I, me, and my, about myself. It's my stuff about me. Source opinion is the I, me, my truth about you. And that requires an invitation. The you should always be invited, so keep it in the I. Does that make sense? It stays in the I personal. As long as it stays in the I personal, it's your throat chakra personal truth. Got it? But the difference is only when you say, I feel those pants are too tight. Do you get it? That's an I, but it's, it's about the other. It's an, actually a you. So we need, that needs to be invited because otherwise, why are you speaking it? There's no reason to be speaking it. And when you do speak it, can you speak it through the compassion of your heart? That's why the throat chakra comes after the heart because we want to move everything through the compassion of the heart. How would I receive that message? That's how I want to deliver it. I want to be clear. I want to really say what I need to say, but I want to say it in a way that I would want to hear it said, a way of respect, a way of heart, a way of compassion. I hope this is clear, guys. So that's all about truth. Do you understand? Truth is in the throat chakra truth. It is an I. It is an I thing. It is what you're feeling. Even if someone else is doing something to you, it's a leap to say, you are this way, you are that, you are blah, blah, blah. Just keep it with the I. I feel hurt when this happens. I really need to count on people because this is just something for me that really rattles my system or whatever it is that you need, right? And you don't need to make the other person wrong. You're saying, I need this or I want this. Okay. Does that make sense? I hope so. I, I was trying to make it very clear, but we're in, these are, this is tough stuff to share. Okay. Now let's look at hurt. We've already really crossed into the area of hurt because I was dividing the I personal truth and the you. It's easy to hurt another when we push into their realm of personal truth. When we say you do la la la, you're this way, you, you, just that you stuff. There are situations when they invite us, in which case I would say it's good to express your truth through deep compassion. Feel your heart first. Feel how you would want to hear your truth. And in that way, you might be able to give them the truth that no one else has been able to express when you can do it with deep love and compassion. We want to move through the heart first and then to the throat. What we see a lot in the world is say a parent has a gay child, but that parent thinks that it's wrong to be gay. So the child needs to be able to be gay, to be themselves. They need to be able, that's who they are. They need to be able to say, I'm gay. And if the parent says, that is wrong, you're bad, that that's the parent getting into the I world of the child. And in that case, if you are that child who's gay, you are not hurting the parent. You are not. Their resistance to who you really are is hurting them. Their pain is coming from their resistance. And you say, yeah, but it still hurts them. Yes. And perhaps in a way that will cause them to grow. So all you can do is love. You, you can't not hurt another when their limited world makes your authentic self give them pain 
right? Because they're the ones giving themselves the pain by not allowing you to be your authentic self. And it's extremely important in this world that each of us are our authentic selves. If we were truly and through our hearts, we wouldn't have the the things that we see in this world, the mass shootings, the judgmental things that are happening where we make others wrong. Okay, in this age of Aquarius right now, which we're going through a whole new rebirthing in a major, major way, uh, it is more important than ever that we're allowed to express our truth, our personal truth, and that we allow others to have their personal truth. And that we don't take responsibility for the pain others feel when they don't allow us to be our authentic self. And also notice any pain you might feel because it's the same mudding in the field you might feel when you feel pain about the way someone is in your life. Because if it's who they really are, it's pain for growth for you to open up and allow them to be who they really are. We need to all be who we really are and to allow each other to be who we are. And that's when we get to the real truth here, which is the truth will set you free. Your truth and allowing others to have their truth, all of it will set you free. That is the essence of the first of the spiritual chakras, the throat, the bridge to the divine. We begin true freedom when we speak our truth with great compassion when it's invited or when we need it in order to respect ourselves and create our own boundaries and only then. And we also, when speaking of others, we speak in the I of how we're influenced by them. That's I feedback only when invited. Can you feel that? So when we all do this, we're going to have a whole new experience around around the throat and I can see why we've been jamming ourselves up here because just in doing this this video it has seemed quite complicated. So if you have any questions, uh, if I've confused you in any way and you have con questions or of course opposite opinions feel free to share. I'm happy to hear what you feel about what I've shared and it's always welcome here in our Chakra Boosters family. I think I'm going to end it there. That's a lot. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it and oh, I want to say one more thing. Capital T Truth can also be gotten to eventually when we're all doing what I just said. We're all speaking our own truth and allowing others to speak their truth. Then it's just this, we're all back to the essence of we are one and we're love and we have this allowing outcome. So can we just allow? the truth that we speak to create out the create the outcome it will often we won't speak our truth not only because we don't want to hurt others but because we're afraid if we hurt others or we get a certain reaction from others they may stop supporting us emotionally or financially or they may completely reject us or many many other things we may lose our job Whatever it is you decide you have to decide what you want to share but do realize that if you have to not speak your truth to keep a particular job, like your true heartfelt truth, not your silly opinions, like I have silly opinions, you have, we all have silly opinions about others. But if, if it's your true self truth, if you can't speak that where you are in a relationship or where you are at a job, then that job or relationship is keeping you in a position of not self. If you speak it, yes, the job or the relationship may go away or it may strengthen, and that's capital T, trust. Can you speak your truth and let just the dominoes go where they will, let things happen the way they will, or do you need to control the outcome you want by speaking not truth, not speaking your truth? In other words, I'm gonna say things that aren't true because that way I can stay in this job, stay in this relationship. I'm not judging you for that. There's nothing wrong with anything we choose to do. All choices have their time. It does also have a consequence. And the consequence is, and it's not a judgment, it's just a consequence. The consequence is you are in a relationship or a job that is continuing to propagate you not being self. Can you feel that? 
So that was one last piece I needed to stumble into because I didn't want to forget it. Must have been important because now my throat and my voice are making all these movements and it's it's crazy. I could just feel it in my throat. Mm. <sighs> I'm feeling into how much I am looking forward to a world where we own more of our own personal truth. We allow others to own more of theirs. We share more of it and we feel more unified by our differences and our different vantage points and viewpoints. I'm really looking forward. That's the Age of Aquarius Earth community that we have a chance to create right now. And I'm just going to say I'm looking forward to it. And it's what I am working to co-create. So that's it for the number one myth for the throat chakra that blocks the throat chakra. I hope you'll share it and work with opening your own throat chakra by getting rid of that myth once and for all and embracing the truth. The truth is, the truth will set you free. Have a beautiful week. Express your truth through your heart in your personal I, me, my, and I will see you on the next video. Blessings.